we're back to part C. This is the determination of the sodium of the hydrochloric acid. So in part B, we determine the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. And if you watch the video, the next step is you take that sodium hydroxide and titrate hydrochloric acid. We're adding a known amount of hydrochloric acid. We're adding 10 mils. So if you can find the moles of the so of the hydrochloric acid, take the moles, divide it by the volume, that will give you the molarity. To get the moles of hydrochloric acid, we take the molarity, which we worked so hard for, all right? And then we type, we use the data from the titration. We know we have 30 mils of this. That will give us the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. We can use that to get the moles of HCl. Uh, by the way, uh, in the lab manual, you do three trials. We're only giving you data from one trial. All right, so to do this, here's your balanced equation. The first step is we need the moles of sodium hydroxide. So we take the volume of sodium hydroxide, 0 0.03000 liters, and we have the molarity, 0 0.1032 moles of sodium hydroxide. And that will give us the moles of sodium hydroxide. And if we did the math, We have 0 0.003096. So if you're looking at the data sheet, that's this is how you do it. All right. The next step is to determine the moles of hydrochloric acid. Well, it reacts one to one, so there's one mole of HCl for every mole of sodium hydroxide from the balanced chemical equation. All right, so that would mean that we have 0 0.003096 moles of HCl were in that original flask. That original flask had 10 mils of HCl, so all of those moles are in 10 mils, which is, of course, 0 0.01000 liters. And so the molarity of the HCl is 0 0.3096 moles of HCl per liter, which is, of course, 0 0.3096 molar HCl. Right? In the real lab, we would have done it three times and taken the average. Obviously, we're not doing that. And I'll give you an actual value that you can use as well. All right, so this should walk you through all the calculations. Uh, the videos will show you what's going on and help you answer some of the questions in the back. So remember, there's three of these whiteboards. All right, I've at it. Take care.